Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, April the 20th, 2018 and this is take 25 of the tech news that I've really have a lot of problems doing today. So uh, today in our Tech News Update, we have LinkedIn that has actually a flaw that was discovered. It apparently allowed external websites to harvest some personal data from users, including name, email, work history, and uh, the scope of how much data was stolen is not really totally known, but it is something that you wish didn't happen, especially um, since you know LinkedIn profiles are often very, very rich in information, as a lot of people put their professional status there. Uh, Skip Ahead Build was released yesterday, just after the, well, at the end of the um, Windows Insider Hour show. The um, Skip Ahead Build 17650 was released with a few little new things, including Fluent Design within the Windows Defender uh, control panel. But uh, this might be the last one, because a rumor says that uh, Skip Ahead and Fast Ring might actually merge as early as next week with a first Redstone 5 build for regular Fast Ring users. Well, uh, Facebook is about to move the data of 1.5 billion users from Ireland to California. And the reason why? They want to avoid the new European Union privacy laws that will be taking effect in May. So uh, that's kind of interesting and shows you that uh, maybe Facebook has more to hide than we want. Netflix is about to purchase theaters, apparently. It would want to play its own Netflix original movies in theaters. It also might want to challenge Hollywood and movie industry at the same time, as, you know, it's fair to say that the movie industry isn't taking Netflix original movies seriously. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see, and uh, why not? Why not go and see these original Netflix movies in theaters? The uh, rumors for a while that, you know, iOS, which is the operating system for iPads and iPhones, and macOS, which is the operating system for Mac computers, would merge at some point into some kind of, you know, unified operating system. Well, I think it's not going to happen. Tim Cook yesterday was asked a question, and he rarely answers questions, but yesterday he did, and he said, nope, it's not what the users want. Ryzen 2 CPUs, next generation of Ryzen processors, is now out. And of course, a lot of tests are being done. And um, they do show moderate improvements in speed and performance. And basically, they also are putting more pressure on Intel to try to make better CPUs. A study, but we don't really know who actually financed this one, says that the ARM architecture and the way that it's done is actually more secure than any other architecture of processors and that if your mobile devices are up to date, apparently you're more secure than a PC or a Mac. Well, the um, Microsoft asked for an extension before it was released, but Google didn't actually do it. So of course, Google's zero day project, which looks at security flaws everywhere, uh, the 90 day um, period where they actually give the time to the company to fix it has gone and of course they revealed that Windows 10 has as a medium security flaw. So that will of course force Microsoft to uh, fix its security vulnerability in Windows 10 S. Do you have a wireless printer? A interesting survey says that a lot of wireless printers out there are vulnerable to attacks and that most users have no idea about it. And even worse, hackers have access to a lot of these printers and can actually see all the documents you printed because uh, it's stored in RAM within the printer before it's being printed out. So this could be, of course, a huge security problem for businesses. Remember how your parents told you not to get too close to the screen, not to stare at your computer for such a long time, and that you'll damage your eyes? Well, a study says, nope, 
you're not damaging your eyes at all. And all that you might have is high fatigue because your eyes are not made to stare at the same point in space for such a long time. Just follow the 20-20-20 rule, which is after 20 minutes of staring at your computer screen, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds before you continue your work. Facebook is apparently designing its own chips. It wants to build devices but does not want to be dependent on Intel, Qualcomm and other chip makers. Analysts say that this is actually great and that it will just up competition and make chips probably at a lower price and deliver better chips than they used to because competition will be there. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what they come up with also at the same time. And this was the Tech News Update for Friday, April the 20th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.